I try and be calm, but I know you know, there's, there's part of me that doesn't quite, that isn't quite comfortable with the experience. This happened about 10 years ago, so pre-River Monsters. I was in the Amazon, and we were filming aerials. Small plane, one engine. We had the main door off so that the cameras could get a clear view. I was in the co-pilot seat, so the pilot's on my left. As we were coming down, there's a loud sort of popping noise. The whole aircraft just started to vibrate. Something's happened to the engine. The tops of the trees just rising up to meet us. The sound of branches flicking the underside of the plane. I thought this is going to hurt really badly. I'm Jeremy Wade, biologist and extreme angler. Whoa. Ah. I'm reliving my amazing adventures to bring you the untold stories from the filming of River Monsters. Is my heart going to stop any second now? Are they dead? Are they going to die? I was filming in a light aircraft over the Amazon rainforest when the engine exploded and we dropped from the sky. There's this almighty crashing sound. Everything stopped moving. The very first breath that I took, there's just this overpowering smell of fuel. There was this liquid coming down on my shoulders. If we've escaped the impact, we're just going to go up in flames. The water's coming up. I tried to undo my harness. I couldn't undo it. This is it. I'm going to drown. I took the knife out of my belt. I was just about to cut it, and the pilot freed the, the buckle. We've actually come down in swamp. As I emerged, I was greeted by the sight of four people. I swam over to them, they pulled me up. Everybody's OK. Miraculously, one camera is still rolling. This, this pilot, 22, 22 years, 22 years flying, so it's never happened before, first time. I was doing quite a bit of the sort of video diary stuff at the end of each day very often. It was about just getting a sense, a record of what that day had been like for me. Everyone's very, very, we had quite a happy day. We went and had, uh, had a big lunch. There's something about putting something into words that, um, that just gets to you. I don't, know, I don't know why that is. And uh, everything's surprisingly normal. And uh, that just suddenly got to me, and I just couldn't continue. Not surprisingly, that left me feeling pretty uneasy about flying, but that's not really compatible with what I do. I spent a lot of time in the air, not just getting to the place where I want to go, but also in light planes and helicopters, getting the amazing aerials that you see. 